What's up, guys? This is Chris with BenOfBaseballCards.com. <clears throat> and you saw me holding the pack up there that was so I could focus it right, because when I show you cards, I want to be able to show them to you and you'll be able to see them. That actually helps. Um, I can only shoot the video in such a high quality. I, uh, there's always other things I can do to make it better. This is a box, uh, my third, I believe, my third box of Tops 206. Plus, I may have done some retail stuff earlier in the year. Uh, these boxes have been smoking great for me so far as far as a great mixture of cards. They're probably the ones that I'm happiest with. I just wish they were as good as... I, I, I really w I really regret getting a case of update hobby boxes. I wish I would have gotten a case of update jumbo boxes. I really do. Just because it takes so long to film them and there's really... So far through five boxes of update, all I've gotten is the jersey card in every box and then an SP in every box as well, which I'm sure both come in the jumbos, plus I get two more hit cards. And I get 500 cards per box, but I only get six boxes. So you get 3,000 cards with a case of, of, uh, hot, of jumbo, and you get 12 times 360, uh, like 4,000-something some, 4, cards. I did the math before, so that's why I ended up getting them, because it was more cards for the same amount of money. It was actually it's actually a little less for the jumbos, but they're so low priced now, it doesn't matter. I won't go over all the base cards. Hamels is a mini. It's a cycle back. Number 3 out of 99, Cole Hamels. So there's the cycle back already. Cody Ross is the gold. Obviously, I've learned a lot from opening several of these boxes so far. Uh, obviously, the base cards, the regular base cards, all have, uh, or parallels, they all have the players featured with no hats. And anytime you see a, uh, I think the construction people out back are honking the horn. There's the old mill card. That's one per box as well so far. So there's two of my one per box cards right there already. That's kind of makes the rest of the box dull unless all the jerseys are at the bottom. All the SPs are photoed or are photos of them wearing their hats like this. This is Mr. Keeler. I need to back this thing up a little bit or tip it up so you can see me when I'm opening those packs. There. See this is why I focused at the where where I did so that way you guys can get a good look at this. This is an SP um, it should be because he's featured in a hat. Maybe not, because it's not on. It's not on the white cardstock. Maybe that's the only photo they had of him. <laughs> I can't imagine there were too many Willie Keeler photo photos uh, laying around anywhere since he played in uh, probably 1893. At the age of 21, he made $800. Now he was sold to the Giants from Brooklyn for $800. So yeah, they didn't, uh, they may not have had another photo of him somewhere, so that may be why he has a hat on. Because it's just numbered a regular card number, it's not like 294 or something, it wasn't one of the SP numbers. <clears throat> Wandy Rodriguez, Carmel back, Chippa Jones Browns, Griffey, Nick, I got it. I got the Griffey. I checked the the other day. I was talking to Nick on the phone the other day for the first time in uh, well over a year or longer. Uh, he's the one that monitors my forum. He uh, his screen name on my forum is Griffey Man One. He's the only moderator on there. I got a I got a jersey card in here, but I give him my all the Griffies that he doesn't have, the ones he knows he doesn't have, I give them to him voluntarily for him monitor my forum for me and kind of be in, kind of be in the me in there when I can't be over there. Ian Kinsler is an SP okay, and he's featured wearing a hat. Dempster is the mini and it's a Piedmont back and then we got a Piedmont I'll explain that in a second. It's um, oh come on you know Escobar I knew it was Escobar, I just couldn't think of his first name. Jersey, just a plain old white swatch of Jersey. I'm going to have to think that's going to be around five bucks in the store. Man, those plain white Jersey swatches are just, ugh. Don't, don't quote me on the price. I mean, I, I have to figure it out when I 
get them into the store, but it'll be the bottom level jersey card. It'll be the, and there's Unel Escobar's regular card. And they used a different photo on this one, so that's that's good stuff. Yeah, they're still out there honking that horn. It's getting kind of annoying. I'll have to go out there and yell at them. First subway car with side doors goes into service February 16, 1909. Historical events number two. Uh, I'm sure that's just thrilling. Swisher, bronze. Brandon Inge. Granderson. I was hoping that this would be the box that's full of cards that I don't have. Uh, I think it would be kind of nice to make a complete set of something like 206 that doesn't that doesn't have a complete set that can be bought. That way I could sell the complete set on eBay and we'll see how much that goes for and it just give me another thing to experiment with and I'll just keep... I'm thinking about getting a case of this 206 as I point down here. I was pointing at the top but you couldn't see that. I'm thinking about getting a case of 206 and a case of chrome but I might have to do it in two different chunks. I have to do it as people uh, buy cards in the store so I can kind of replenish the money I've already put into the store. Polar Bear back for Unel Escobar. Alcides Escobar. Now you see why I was trying to figure out what the names were. Uh, Unel was the... Uh... Yeah, that's why. Unel and Alcides Escobar is why I couldn't figure out what his first name was. Franklin Gutierrez. Uh, bronze. Lincecum. So we've already gotten the two minis that are one per box. The Old Mill and the Cycle Bag. And we've already gotten one of the two hit cards. Hopefully the other one's an auto. That would be nice. Really, really, really nice. Keep that up there. Jason Bartlett, I'm assuming. Carmelback. Bartlett from the Rays, I'm assuming that's Jason Bartlett. Freddy Sanchez, Giants Browns. Chippa Jones, Babe Ruth, regular base cards, no hat, so it's a Babe Ruth base. And I know I didn't have that one yesterday when I was going through the 206. The 206 are in the site right now. Obviously, I just got them done last night. Obviously, these 206s won't be in there um, immediately. They may be in there by the time you see them. A-Rod SP, and I think I might already have this A-Rod. No. Nah. Maybe not. I may be just getting sets crossed over now. But we do have an A-Rod SP. Justin. Yeah, Justin Upton. Piedmont back. Mora is the bronze. Votto was the first card in that pack. Willie Stargell. President Taft inaugurated is the historical events mini. Um, Willie Ibar is the bronze. Sterling Castro, rookie card. Notable card in the pack. Oh, we got something crooked in here. I bet the, I bet the mini is all crooked. I can feel the point of a card, yeah. Steven Strasburg, rookie card. Everybody likes Steven Strasburg. Lou Gehrig, Piedmont back. See that's Piedmont. Carl Pavano Bronze. Dan Ugla is the card on the back here. I'll talk about him in a second. British Miner Strike for Eight Hour Working Day on January 3rd. Historical events. Brian Roberts is the bronze. <clears throat> Dan Ugla got traded to the Atlanta Braves yesterday for Omar Infante and Mike Dunn. I think that's Michael Dunn, but they only had him listed as Mike Dunn yesterday, so just in case it's a different person, I want to say what they had listed in the Yahoo article. But Dan Ugla is no longer a Florida Marlin, and that's kind of sad for Marlins fans, but because it all had to do with contract issues, they weren't paying him anywhere near what Chase Utley was getting, but yet he put up better numbers than Chase Utley, so... He demanded more money, and they weren't going to cave because they had too many players that they could uh, depend on in the dugout still. Tillman. Chris Tillman, Carmelback. Zimmerman, Bronze. Hayward, Rookie Card.
Pablo Sandoval, he's wearing a hat. That means it's an SP. Nitrous. Pablo. Panda. It's a Panda SP. You gotta be all over that, buddy. I know you will be. You always are. Piedmont. That's Drupal Cabrera Bronze. This is the last box that I have that's not update of the boxes that I bought that three or four weeks ago, however long ago it was, where I bought the case and another mixed up box of all kinds of boxes. I was, uh, I had some intention to try to sell these things. First movie stunt, man jumps into Hudson River from a burning balloon. Historical events. Ichiro is the bronze. I had the fullest intentions of selling uh, at least the update boxes and one of each of the boxes that I got uh, as boxes, but as soon as I got all those boxes in the mail, in the ship to me, as soon as they came to me, those prices for all those boxes just dropped to just rock bottom prices. So uh, there was no way I was going to be able to sell them at the price I paid, so I might as well just open them all up. Uh, Baker, I think it's Scott Baker, Carmel's, Carmelback, Ty Cobb Bronze. Nobody else. Significant regular base cards. Aaron Hill. SP. Ryan Dumit. Piedmont back. Cole Hamels bronze. I'll go over these little little cards in front of me here in a minute if I have time. I got four more packs. I'll try to tell you as I go. Wright Brothers deliver first military plane, blah, blah, blah. Historical events. Adrian Gonzalez Bronze. The, uh, as far as I can tell, the Carmels and the Piedmonts are roughly equal in occurrence in the boxes. Old Mill and Cycles are one. The uh, historical events are pretty much even with the uh, Piedmonts. And I've only seen one polar bear back, which leads me to believe these other three packs better have polar bear backs in them because I've gotten think three or four in every box. There's my auto. It is Cervelli. I think it's Francisco Cervelli of the Yankees. Mini auto. That should be pretty well focused. I can't tell on my screen, but Francisco Cervelli. So I did get an auto and a jersey. We can tap this out a little bit. Get some space around it. No, I got space on the other side. Oh well. We all know what that is. It's an auto. Big deal. Get them all the time. The uh, mini in here was a Piedmont bag and keel. So I may be wrong about my polar bear bags. But it may be two polar bear bags per box, and I may just be making stuff up. Cabrera, caramel bag. That means if my theory is correct, that other pack there, the last pack, should be a polar bear back. Teixeira is the bronze. Munson. That's not an SP. It's just Munson's base card. Let's see if I was right. Yogi Berra, polar bear. Two per box. I was right. Because I was looking at them yesterday, and I have four polar bears when I put the uh, when I posted them on the site. And I knew I had opened two boxes previously. McCutcheon is an SP. Andrew McCutcheon, not Daniel. Andrew. John Main is the bronze. I think I have it already. And that is the end of that 206 box. All right, guys. I'm going to wrap this one up. I'm running out of time. I want to make sure I can make it in one video. I'll uh, bust open an update from this point forward until I make a new order. See ya.